because I said so, said Buddy. Ontario's new education minister visited one school that's already back in session. None of these little ones pulled out a phone during story time. As of September 1st, the new province-wide rules take effect. For students in kindergarten to grade 6, there will be no phone access at all during the school day. For grades 7 to 12, no phones in class, but they can look at them at lunch and recess. One exception is if phones are part of learning. The minister acknowledges it'll be a challenge. Enforcement is going to, to be a, a big issue. Um, and we want to ensure that, I want teachers to know this is, a, this is a new initiative. This is a culture change. There is uh, discipline uh, policies in place and we will support educators and principals in the actions that they take. But there are questions about how it'll all work. School boards have been posting about the change and sending out reminders to parents and students. Toronto's public board underscoring that if a student doesn't put their phone away, it's off to the principal's office. Educators agree phones in class have turned into a distraction. It's just the addictive default. Oh, I, I don't know how to do this problem right away. It's just to my phone to watch uh, YouTube videos, TikTok videos, uh, listen to music. We want students to be speaking to their peers who are in front of them as opposed to be connecting to someone who's three floors away. Up until now, schools and teachers have put in place their own guidelines to keep the phones away. An example I always like to use is the paper bag. Students are issued a brown paper bag and are asked to leave their devices in their actual uh, knapsacks. The Union for High School Teachers worries about teachers having to enforce the rules. We basically play a game of whack-a-mole where this phone, this phone, this phone, and that's what you spend most of your time doing. She says there are other concerns in education she wants addressed. It's about funding and education and having the supports in place. And we're talking about cell phones and we're ignoring overcrowded classes and hot classrooms and unqualified staff and all the real issues in education. She says one positive is that Minister Dunlop quickly reached out the day after she was appointed as minister. Littlewood hopes the two will be able to meet about midway through the school year to talk about how the new cell phone policy is working. Lorenda Radicomp, CBC News, Toronto.